Earlier this month, Fort Meade Garrison Headquarters participated in the Maryland Department of Veterans Affairs Operation Green Light, a week-long effort to highlight veterans' benefits available in Maryland. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, there's still time to contribute to the CFC, enjoy a holiday movie every Friday, and November is American Indian Heritage Month. These stories and more, but first, on November 9th, Fort Meade held a groundbreaking ceremony for a big construction project, the Freedom Center for Barracks. The two buildings will house 380 enlisted service members. Special guest speaker General Paul Nagasone, Commander U.S. Cyber Command, Chief Central Security Service, and the Director of the National Security Agency identified those service members in his remarks. It's going to be members of the Central Security Service, 40% of NSA's workforce. The Marines, the soldiers, the airmen, the guardians, the Coast Guardsmen that make up the analysts and linguists and reporters that ensure the National Security Agency can do its principal missions of signals intelligence and cybersecurity. This is a world-class facility for a world-class workforce. In his address, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp emphasized the importance of partnership in getting this project underway. The combined effort between the NSA and the U.S. Army Garrison to fund this facility could only happen because of the partnership and cooperation. We may be an Army base in name, but despite this Army Colonel speaking to you right now, Fort Meade remains to be America's most joint non-joint base that's out there. And when we combine our efforts, we can do so many great things. General Nakasone also talked about the cooperation it took to get to this stage. Let me emphasize that it has been a partnership, the partnership of U.S. Army Garrison here at Fort Meade, led by Colonel Michael Sal. DPW, obviously working very hard to make sure that we have everything that we need. My incredible team, installation and logistics led by Mr. Randy Westfall at our Fort at the National Security Agency. Officials have targeted the fall of 2025 for project completion. In other news, we're about halfway through this year's Combined Federal Campaign, or CFC. Garrison campaign coordinators recently held an event at the Post Theater that featured a visit from Jose Rodriguez, the director of the CFC Chesapeake region, which includes Fort Meade. He briefed local CFC coordinators on the donation process, including a way to contribute that you may not have heard about, donating volunteer hours. When you go on the, in the website and you go on the search for charities and you search, once you open that up, you'll see a little box in the bottom with a little black hand. And that box, if you, you don't have to click it, but if you just want to learn about charities uh, who uh, accept uh, volunteer work, uh, volunteer hours, you go in. But if not, no matter what, let's say you want to say, for me, let me know what the charities are around here. Maybe 20, 30 will come up. Then you look at that list on the right hand side and every charity that has accepted volunteer hours will have a little black hand by it, which means you can donate or volunteer hours. I'll do both. The combined federal campaign ends January 15th. For more information and to donate, go to givecfc.org. Meanwhile, Fort Meade observed Veterans Day this year with several events, including a Vest Up event. The Vest Up, an early morning workout, was staged by the Fort Meade Garrison Headquarters Battalion. The workout featured four different exercises with reps of 11, 11, 19, and 18. When you look at the workout, you'll see it says 11, 11, 19, 18. 11, 11, 19, 18 was when we first started Armistice Day after World War I. That's where Veterans Day comes from. A lot of times people get Memorial Day and Veterans Day uh, misconstrued, conflated, whatever you want to call it. I won't differentiate for you all, but just know Today is not necessarily about the fallen, it's about the serve, those who served. And we are all currently serving, and we're part of that legacy. November is American Indian Heritage Month. This year's observance, hosted by the Air Force's 70th Intelligence Wing at Club Meade, featured guests from the Baltimore American Indian Center. In his presentation, guest speaker John Coyote Vincent, a board member of the Baltimore American Indian Center, started with a little history and concluded with some disturbing numbers. If you missed this year's observance, you can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Finally this week, the Fort Meade 5-6 Associate invites everyone to a holiday countdown. Every Friday from November 24th through December 22nd, they're showing a holiday movie at the Post Theater. The countdown will feature arts and crafts and refreshments as well as the movie. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, if you're watching this before the Thanksgiving holiday, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Until next time, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.